Have you ever stopped to ponder how milk, a liquid we consume daily, is transformed into a powdery form? Well, today is your lucky day. We're about to embark on an intriguing journey into the world of milk powder production. You might be wondering, what exactly is milk powder? Simply put, it's milk that's been evaporated and dried. It's a staple in many households and a key ingredient in countless recipes, from baked goods to creamy soups. But why go through the process of converting milk into powder? It's all about versatility and longevity. Milk powder can be stored for longer periods without spoiling, making it a convenient, economical and nutritious choice, particularly in areas where refrigeration is a challenge. Intrigued, I thought so. Stay tuned as we unravel the fascinating transformation of milk into powder. Before we begin, it's important to understand the key ingredient, milk. Not just any milk, mind you. The milk used to produce powder is often of the highest quality, sourced from healthy cows, and it's usually whole, full-fat milk. This kind of milk provides an abundance of proteins, vitamins and minerals, making it the ideal candidate for conversion into powder form. Quality, as you may expect, is paramount. The healthier the cows, the better the milk, and consequently the superior the milk powder. It's a chain reaction, you see. It's not just about the milk being good enough to drink. It's about it being good enough to retain its nutritional worthiness, even after being transformed into a completely different form. So when you open a packet of milk powder, remember the high quality milk that it started from. Now that we've got our milk, let's dive into the process of its transformation. The journey to milk powder starts with the first crucial step, pasteurization. This isn't just a fancy word, folks. Pasteurization is a process named after the French scientist Louis Pasteur, who discovered that heating milk to a certain temperature could kill most bacteria and pathogens, making the milk safe to consume. So how does this magic happen? Well, our fresh milk is rapidly heated to a temperature of at least 161 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 seconds and then rapidly cooled. This process, known as high temperature short time pasteurization, not only ensures safety, but also retains the nutritional quality of the milk. But wait, there's more. Pasteurization also extends the shelf life of our milk, making it possible to store it longer and transport it further without spoilage. So, with pasteurization complete, our milk is now ready for the next step. This process is the first guardian in the journey of transforming liquid milk into the versatile powder form. Once pasteurized, the milk moves on to the next stage, concentration. Now this is where we start to see some real changes. The milk in its liquid form contains a lot of water. While this is great for a refreshing glass of milk, it's not so ideal for our mission of creating milk powder. So, what do we do? we need to evaporate a good deal of that water. This process is carried out in an evaporator, a machine that heats the milk to a specific temperature that allows the water to evaporate without damaging the milk's nutritional value. As the water evaporates, the milk thickens, transforming it into a concentrated version of itself. It's a bit like a superhero transformation if superheroes were made of milk. This concentrated milk has a lower water content making it the perfect candidate for the drying process that comes next. With the water reduced, our milk has become a concentrated powerhouse ready for the final transformation. The final step in this transformation is drying. Imagine, if you will, the concentrated milk, rich and creamy, now ready to undergo its final metamorphosis. The drying process is where we see the liquid milk transfigured into a fine dry milk powder. But how does this happen? The science behind it is fascinating. It all begins with the concentrated milk being introduced into a drying chamber. Here, it experiences a rapid evaporation of moisture, transforming it into a dry form. This is done through an ingenious process known as spray drying or drum drying. In the method of spray drying, the concentrated milk is sprayed into a chamber filled with hot air. As the tiny droplets make their journey through the chamber, the water in them quickly evaporates, leaving behind tiny particles of dry milk. These particles are then collected at the bottom of the chamber to be packaged as the milk powder we all know. Meanwhile, drum drying takes a slightly different approach. The concentrated milk is spread over a heated drum. As the drum rotates, the milk is dried and scraped off as a thin layer of milk powder. But why go through all this trouble? Why not just keep milk in its liquid form? Well, the answer lies in the magic of preservation. Drying milk significantly extends its shelf life. 
It also makes it lighter and easier to transport, not to mention more convenient for use in a variety of culinary creations, from baking to beverages. But the benefits don't stop there. The drying process also allows for the conservation of nutritional values. The proteins, vitamins and minerals present in milk are preserved, ensuring that the milk powder packs the same nutritional punch as its liquid predecessor. And there you have it, the magical transformation from liquid milk to fine dry milk powder. From the farm to your kitchen, the journey of making milk powder is a tale of science, innovation and a commitment to quality and convenience. Thanks for watching and wish you a great day ahead. So now you know the secret behind milk's transformation into a powdery form. It's a fascinating journey, isn't it? From the dairy farm to your pantry, milk undergoes a process of pasteurization, concentration and drying. These steps are not just about converting liquid into powder. They play a crucial role in preserving the nutritional value of the milk and ensuring its longevity. The pasteurization step eliminates harmful bacteria, giving you a safe product. Concentration then reduces the milk's water content, making it easier to handle and transport. Finally, the drying step transforms the concentrated milk into a fine powder, ready to be reconstituted at your convenience. It's a testament to how science and technology can work together to deliver nutrition in a convenient and accessible form. So the next time you reach for that tin of milk powder, remember the journey it's been on to get to you. Thanks for watching and wish you a great day ahead.